so it's nice good day today Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Um, how are you doing, all right? Today's Wednesday, um, Wednesday the 23rd of August to be precise. We've been out since Monday, and uh, today we go back to the yard, back in Swindon. Um, and hopefully, I'm gonna have my own truck, hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm hoping I will, but I'm expecting I won't, because I've just been let down last a month or so so i'm not expecting it but it would be nice if i did have it this truck meanwhile is starting to annoy me i say starting it annoyed me from the day one uh, but i'm not going to go on about it because a load of people said i was moaning and if, if i don't appreciate it then someone else will do it i appreciate my job i love my job it's just a little bit annoying when you're six foot four and you can't stand up that's all banged my head quite a few times especially last night anyway we are outside travis perkins um, they don't open until half past seven. Like I said, it's six o'clock now. So I've made sure I got here quite early, just so then I am the first one in, uh, and I can get away as soon as possible. I can see right now, let me just move you. I can't get you out. See, so I can see right now that, um, I think there's two lorries in there currently. So um, when they get their own lorries out, I'll be able to get my lorry in. So um, it's just a matter of waiting for that, really. But yeah, 7.30 they open. And after 7.30, hopefully, I'll be in. Sometimes they, uh, they're they here for six, but no one's here yet. So um, that's a shame. Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, um, I've got my other GoPro. I'm just going to go put that on the back right now. Um, I'll see you in a sec. So here we are at the back of the truck. It's gonna be a little bit quieter um, because it, like I said, it's still six in the morning and I'm parked right outside houses. So um, I do just need to like lower the tone a little bit while I'm out here. Um, this is what we got on the bed. So I think it's about 28 tons worth. Quite a few bags and I think four pallets. So um, yeah, that's what we got on. Last time I put you up here, you were sort of here. I'm thinking about putting you higher up, just so you can see a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, just going to put you in your in your waterproof casing. Okay, you probably can't hear me quite as well now, but um, just going to put you a little bit higher up, and then um. I'll put you on when, when we start ticking. Yeah, we said we let it go. I think uh, 29 minutes is the, the record to beat. For time to beat it, I've got two forklifts on it. It's looking like I'm gonna get done nice and quickly. Let's go. And that right there is why I'm glad I turned up. It's six o'clock, never lorry waiting. Let's get me done first though, eh? We're done, and they set a new record for tipping time as well. The quickest time I had before today was 28 minutes, and they just did it in 22. So, new record. Let's wait for the forklift to move out of the way.
Yeah, 23 minutes yet. Not bad at all. Got to put some paperwork out of the way. So it's nice and secure. Now this is quite a tight exit. Get crack a lacking. You're a bit wonky there, yeah, sorry. We are heading to Southampton. So that was our first run of the day. First tip. Like I said, I got there about six o'clock this morning and I got let in, I think about half six. And um, it's just gone seven o'clock now. Better stop here actually. I thought those lights were going to change. Um, yeah, so uh, nice, nice quick tip. I was hoping I was going to be back in Southampton for well before nine o'clock, before all the like rush hour traffic. Uh, and I am. I'm going to be there twenty past eight. So, well, I mean, there's going to be a, there's going to be a little bit of traffic. I'm assuming on the M3, M27. Um, but hopefully, I'm going to be there before half eight. And I was hoping by nine anyway. So yeah, all good. Looking forward to going home tonight. Seeing the girlfriend, seeing the kids. Padreva, thank you. But um, I'm looking forward to moving into my new truck if it is happening. I'm going to give the boss a call later on today and just find out whether I'm in this again tomorrow or not. I'm hoping I'm not, but if I am, I am, innit? Just get on with it at the end of the day. Just get on with it. Right, you join me one hour after I last spoke to you. We're now in Southampton. Just around the corner from where we uh, get loaded from. And uh, I believe we've got two more drops to do today. And I, I think I'm going to a place called Alton. So, um, but we're, it's, it's all subject to change. It normally changes. Anything coming? No. Yeah, it normally changes, so um, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not doing it now. But yesterday I was told it was Alton, and then they would see what time it is as to what I would do after that. So we just have to just have to wait and see. I'll let him go. I did flash you, not paying attention. Never mind. I'm not coming to a complete stop. Um, oh, fucking hell. So yeah, find out what we're going to do in a sec. <laughs> I love it when people like, when they cross the road and they know that they're going to slow you down, so they start running and then sort of halfway along, they start slowing down, don't they? It makes me laugh. That's the company we're working out of. Don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change. Good. Try and keep the momentum going. So, I mean, it's really hard to, to sort of guess what time I'm going to be back here in the yard. I would like to think before six o'clock. Definitely before six. Considering the time now is just gone eight o'clock and I'm already heading, but I'm already around the corner to get loaded for my second run. So that's a very good start, but it can easily get messed up. If I'm in here waiting for an hour, maybe two hours, it's gonna mess it up straight away. But I can tend to get a good idea of how long I'm gonna be waiting as soon as I get in. What we want, ideally, is no lorries in there, then I know I'm next to be loaded. And that could take an hour still. Depends on if it depends if the stuff's actually ready to be delivered. So um, yesterday, for example, my first run, I ended up having to do last because it wasn't ready to go. And if I've only got one more run to do today and the stuff isn't here yet, then I've got to wait for it. But we will find out. 
This road is so bumpy. It's also annoyingly tight down here as well sometimes. You get a few uh, foreigner drivers park right on the junction. They park up on the right hand side here, just literally midway on the junction. It's a bit annoying because you need to take up a lot of space because cars park around on the left lot. Just about getting that leverage in. Right, so straight away I can see there is no one waiting to be loaded by the looks of it on the first one. Where's he going? Okay, he's going there. Um, yeah, there's no one waiting to be loaded on the um, second part of being loaded area. Oh, actually there's someone over there. Here, yeah, budge over. And it doesn't look like there's anyone in there either, so hopefully we're not going to be too long. No, I'm here. Yeah, hopefully we're going to be loaded straight away. Come on, open the gate. Open the gates. Open the gates. Need some ad blue by the looks of it. Should be right until I get back today. Um. So yeah, we're here now, um, so we get loaded, find out where we're going, uh, and then we will deliver it to wherever we're going. We've just got to try and get out of here now. Like I said, it, it can be a bit of a nightmare getting in and out. There you go. I don't think that lady in the black car was very happy, but there's nowhere I could go. You seem to be on the piss. These drivers just park their lorries anywhere. They don't think. In front of us is Cliff. He looks like he's going to a Travis Perkins. As soon as we've now come to a complete stop, I just want to sort you out because you look really wonky. There we go. I don't know whether he realises he's got his hazards on still or not. Not sure. Anyway, where we're going? We're going to Portsmouth uh, to the Selco. It, they got quite a tight yard, but it's actually um, probably the place I've been to the most since doing this work. I've gone there every single week, at least one, sometimes two, three times. Well, that van's gone around a bit fast. So, um, yeah, no problem getting in there, even though it is quite tight. Uh, just gotta be a bit careful, that's all. Sometimes there's a bit of a wait, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm hoping I've not got to wait too long. But normally I'll wait i to wait a little bit before I go in and then it takes a good 45 minutes at least to get tipped but I mean the good news is it's only half an hour away so I can get there and back in an hour uh, and then assuming it takes an hour to get tipped I could be back in a couple of hours which would put it at about 11 o'clock 12 o'clock 
which is good because uh, my third one I just found out is in Newbury so um, that's my run back home if you like which is good who's beeping their horn I don't know who's beeping their horn right so I'll see you in half an hour's time when we're in Portsmouth just before we get to site um, see you in a bit right we are nearly here Let's just cross this line. Nearly here. Turn right at these red lights, uh, and then it's on the left. Or well, turn left, and then it's on the right. Please let there be no one there. It'd be really good if there's no one there. We'll find out in a moment. Just a moment's time. This morning, I woke up, uh, banged my head on the hammock. Uh, <laughs> which consequently gave me a headache that, uh, this morning so I took some paracetamol but I'm feeling fine now I just really don't want to be driving this lorry tomorrow if I have to then I have to but I'd rather not I'll be giving the boss a call later maybe around 12ish just ask him if he knows what's happening uh, yeah it's important to add that it's not my boss that's messing, messing me around it's not him he's being messed around by the person uh, slash company if you like um, who's providing the lorry so um, yeah it's not my boss messing me around he knows it's a pain himself and he, he asked me if I'd be alright driving it and I said yeah so I didn't have to drive it I'm putting up with it but I don't want to put up with it for much longer come on then turn green well he went when the lights were still red right Turn right down here. So we're just making a left here, and then it's just up on the right hand side. Ah, oh, there's quite a queue by the looks of it. Let's tuck up behind these lorries and uh, find out where they're delivering to. Looks like we might have to wait. Never mind, let's go find out what's happening. Hello, right, so the situation is we managed to get tipped in the end at Portsmouth in the uh, in that Salco place. We we had to wait a little bit because there's two lorries in front of us, so we waited maybe half an hour. Wasn't too bad to be honest. Uh, and then I got tipped quite quickly. So time now is quarter past 11 and we're heading back into Southampton, where well, we're here now actually, just around the corner, where we're going to get loaded again for our third and final load, which I already know is going to Newbury. Uh, and I think that's about an hour and 20 minutes away, so with a bit of luck we'll be out of here by 12, we'll be there by half one, easily. And then say an hour to tip, half two, could be back in the yard for half three, if all goes to well. Very nice. Still need to find out if I do actually have a new lorry or not though tomorrow. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage being tipped at that place. Um, I had a situation uh, regarding home when our car went starting, so I've been trying to sort out some stuff. But um, yeah, hopefully that's gonna get sorted later. So yeah, we're just gonna get loaded now and then head to Newbury and I will see you when we're in Newbury. Right, so we are in Newbury now. This is the third and final drop for the day. Just been sat in quite a bit of traffic. Um, but once we get to these lights here, it's all finished for us because it goes all the way down there by the looks of it and we're turning off. So we've got to bear with the traffic for a little bit longer and then we'll be uh, out of the traffic. It's not been a too bad of a day. Got the car fixed, as I mentioned earlier. Didn't do much filming because I was trying to sort out the car. Turned out it had a flat battery. So I uh, managed to get some jump leads, get that set up. I'm not gonna bother blocking this junction just in case anyone wants to go in. Cause even more traffic then if I do that, there's just no point. Not going anywhere, so what's the arm just sitting back a little bit. 
when I see the traffic moving ahead, like it is now, I can move forward. So, we're literally going to be there in less than five minutes, and um, by which time it's going to be about 10 to 2. Assuming I get in by 2 o'clock, I can't see myself being there much longer than an hour, so I'm hoping to be out by 3, back in the yard by 4. That's what I'm hoping, but plans never normally go uh, well to plan. I'm just getting over on this uh, hatch marking a little bit so the cars can get in the middle lane. Don't change, don't change, don't change. Thank you for not changing. What are they doing then? Right, so nearly there! <laughs> I said today's today's been a good day. Three jobs done. Started nice and early this morning. Let me put that window up. Started nice and early this morning. Half past four, I was up. Uh, made sure I left before five o'clock. So by the time I woke up, done my checks and everything. Put my tacky card in straight away because the way I see it, I'm at work. So as soon as I wake up, put the tacky card in. Get dressed. Brush my teeth. Wake up, sort of thing. Get some wet wipes. Have a little wipe down, uh, and then do my checks around the lorry. And then by five o'clock, I left where I was parked. So it's nice, good day today. First drop, like I said, was tipped within 22 minutes, which is a new record. Second drop was in Portsmouth with that Selco. Like I said, unfortunately, I didn't get much footage there because um, I was sorting out of my car. I had to wait for those two um, class two vehicles to move first, and then I was in. I'm going to try and get the dash cam footage up on here as well, on this site. It's another Travis Perkins we're going to, by the way. So we've done two Travis Perkins today and one Selco. This place we're going to in Newbury, Travis Perkins, is it's nice, easy to get in. You know, get drive in, drive out, sort of thing, which is good. But when you do drive out, you've got to drive out through the car park and. A lot of customers with regards to builder merchants drive like big vans and things so driving out can be a bit of a nightmare sometimes you just have to wait until they get back in their vehicle and move out your way it's a bit annoying but you know they don't think a lorry driver is going to be coming i wouldn't think that if i was driving a van and i went to a builder's merchant the last thing on my head would be oh can a lorry get past you wouldn't think about it would you so I understand, but from a lorry perspective, when you, want, when you want to get home, sometimes it's a bit annoying. I've had to wait 10 minutes before just for a van to move out of the way. But never mind, we're, we're across that bridge when we get there, that's for sure. I'm hoping when we turn up to the gate, there's no one inside. I've come here a few times now, maybe four or five times. Only once have I had to wait, so. I'm hoping I don't have to wait on this one. I do have to wait to get around this corner because my trailer will ride the curb otherwise. Right. Just wait for one of these to let me through. Salon two. There's Travis Perkins in there on the left. There is one lorry in there, but he looked sort of half empty. I need to get onto the other side of the road to get around this corner. Come on. No flashing or anything, just slowed right down. Right. 
put the hazards on, seeing as we're just going to park up here for a sec. At least we're next in, that's a good thing. But we should be anyway. Right, just park up here, make an acquaintance and uh, back in a minute. Done. We're tipped. Seatbelt on. Into drive. And let's go. And hopefully we can get out. There was a van parked here just now, and I wouldn't have been able to get out, but it's just moved. We can get out no problem at all. Thing is, this is also the way in for um, for trade vehicles, like trade vans and stuff. So they park here, and I'm going over parking spaces right now, pretty much. He's letting me through, but I can't. There he is. He was letting me through, but he was where I need to be. Anyway, we're out. We're out and we're heading home, as it's off. We're going home. Back to the yard. ETA is 27 minutes past three. So, <laughs> it's actually really good. Been a long time since I've uh, finished. Well, got back to the yard at that time. Long time. So, not going to moan. Not going to moan at all. This uh, crossroads coming up here looks right at the moment, but it can be a pain. I want to turn right, and all the cars right opposite want to turn right as well. And there's sort of no give way to each other. So you sort of have to like judge it. But it's looking all right. There's a car on the left. It's one way. We are going to go before that cyclist gets here. Otherwise, we'll be stuck behind him for ages. And that's it. That's the hardest part done. 37 miles back home, 52 minutes gonna go straight onto the M4 from Newbury and straight to Swindon Junction 15 onto the A419 to Cricklade. I still don't know whether I'm in my new lorry or not or this. Um, I mentioned earlier I phoned my boss up and he didn't know himself because he wasn't in the yard yet. So um, kind of I want to call him and find out but at the same time I don't want to bother him. Do you know what I mean? I want to know what I'm doing. If, I've, if I'm in this, then fine, so be it. Let me know so I can fill it up with fuel. Put some AdBlue in as well, because I've got AdBlue messages coming up saying it needs to fill it up. Let me know. But if, if I'm in my new truck, then I want to know equally, because then I can start moving some stuff over as soon as I get into the yard. And of course I've got to unhitch this trailer, hitch up to, to the trailer again on the new truck, fill out the fuel, probably add blue as well, get all my kit in. I'm not moaning before anyone says moaning. Right, good news and bad news. Good news is we are just about to come off the M4, junction 15, so wind up, which means we're like 20 minutes away from home, which is good. That's the good news. Bad news is 
I still haven't got my new truck. Just got off the phone to the boss, hands free, of course, and um, it's still not there. So basically, what it is is the the the, the company that it's leased off of needs to give it an MOT, but the company it's leased off of also sells lorries, and um, without giving too much information away, customers come first. So. If he sells a lorry, he sells a lorry with an MOT, so he, use, he puts that in for an MOT, which takes up the slot of, the, of my new lorry. Something like that, that's what I've been told. Uh, so apparently he's got like 20 slots a week or something, and for the last three, three weeks, four weeks, he's used every slot up and can't get my lorry in. So my boss said, too happy about it, I don't think. But it is what it is. I'm in this lorry again tomorrow for another night. And I mean, at this rate, I'm not expecting a new lorry, not even for next week. So, I mean, I won't be in this lorry because the first, this is the training lorry. This would be, this would be being used by the trainer. So, I will be in a different lorry next week. It's just whether it will be my lorry. That's the question. Never mind. It is what it is. It is what it is. I am not moaning. Anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Um, I'm going to go home, edit this video, upload it today, hopefully, slash tonight, slash tomorrow morning, depends on when it uploads. And uh, oh yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I do apologise if I moaned too much in this video. And I only keep mentioning that because I got a few comments saying that I was moaning and that they're not going to watch my videos anymore because I'm moaning too much. So I apologise if I moan too much in this video. But if I have, never mind. I'll see you later. Thanks very much for watching. Those of you who have watched. And uh, until next time, drive safe. Bye-bye.